Hi, 219. So today's lesson in mathematics is subtracting fractions with like denominators. Hola, Salón 219. La lección de matemáticas hoy es restando fracciones con denominadores que son iguales. Así que vamos a empezar con a solving share. Let's start with the solving share that you have in your book. So on the solving share, they asked, they said that Leah lived eight tenths of a mile while Josh lived five tenths of a mile. I want to know how much further Leah has to walk to school than Josh to get to school. Así que, what would you do to solve this problem? I'll get, um, it's very simple. If you ever want to find the difference, the difference is the answer in subtraction. La diferencia es la, la respuesta en restando. Así que vamos a restar estas dos fracciones. We're going to subtract these two fractions. So, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So I have 8 tenths minus 5 tenths. So we first start off with subtracting the numerators, which are 8 and 5. And that gives me 3 for the new numerator. Now, as for the denominator, el denominador, we are not going to do anything with it. We never, ever add or subtract the denominators when we're working with fractions. Nunca su uh, sumamos ni restamos los fracciones si son iguales. So, 10 will stay the same. So, Leah has to walk 3 tenths of a mile more than Josh. Tres, así que Leah tiene que caminar 3 décimos más que Josh a la escuela. So this is from the solve and share in your math book. So let's go straight to the next page onto the next lesson. Let me erase the board so we can get started. All right, so here I'm looking on page 490. It says here that Tanya is squeezing lemons to make lemonade. The recipe calls for 5 eighths cup of lemon juice. The amount Tanya has squeezed is shown on the right. What fraction of the cup of lemon juice does still, Tanya still need to, to squeeze? Así que Tanya necesita cinco octavos de una taza de jugo de, de limón. Y ella ya sacó un octavo. Is it, is it one eighth? No, three eighths, sorry. Tres octavos. So she's already squeezed three eighths. So now we are supposed to subtract that to find the difference. Again, otra vez estamos buscando la diferencia. So to do this, I repeat, we start with subtracting the numerators. So we're going to do 5 minus 3, 5 minus 3. That will give me 2. Again, I repeat, never, ever add or subtract the denominators when we're, when we're doing addition or subtraction. Así que el 8 se va a quedar lo mismo. And your answer is 2 eighths. Now for some of you who are very clever, you should also know that two eighths can be simplified. Podemos simplificar la respuesta. Because two and eight have a factor of two in common. Tienen un factor de dos en común. Podemos reducir la fracción. We can reduce the fraction by two. Porque dos sobre dos es uno. So we're not changing the value. We're just making the number smaller. So two divided by two, one. Eight divided by two, four. Two eighths or one fourth are both correct. Dos octavos y un cuarto, los dos respuestas son aceptables. That's one way to solve this problem. The second one they, they show me here on page 490 is with a fraction bar. So let's go ahead and show it with the fraction bar. Aquí tenemos también una barra de fracción y vamos a mostrarlo para que lo entiendan so you understand it. So remember, the fraction bar shows us the, the pieces. 
the entire recipe, la, res la receta completo, quería cinco octavos, wanted five eighths. So five eighths goes on the top of the fraction bar. The part that she squeezed already, el parte que ella sí ya sacó, era tres octavos. So we put three eighths here. And then you have to solve for N. Tenemos que resolver para N. So again, it's the same procedure as before, but now we can write an equation. Podemos escribir una ecuación. So we could write 5 eighths minus 3 eighths equals N. And you're still going to get the same answer. So that's all that is being shown on page 490. Eso es lo que estamos enseñando en página 490. So let's go on to the guided practice on page 491. Vamos a la guía, uh, práctica guiado en 491. All right, so here we have Jesse has a bottle that contains 7 tenths liter of water. He drinks 2 tenths of a liter. Jesse says he has half a liter left. Is he correct? Explain. Así que primero... The first thing we should do is figure out how much he does have left before anything else. Antes de empezar, vamos a revisar cuánto de verdad él tiene que, no, que sobró. So he had originally, originalmente, he had seven tenths. He drank two tenths. Él tomó dos decimos. Again, we're trying to find the difference, so we're subtracting. Estamos encontrando la diferencia, así que estamos restando. 7 minus 2, 7 minus 2 is 5. 10 minus 10, never, because it's in the denominator, so we just carry it over. So we get 5 tenths. Well, he says that he has half a liter left. How in the world did he come up with that? If you guess simplifying, you're absolutely right. Si adivinaste que estamos simplificando, estás correcto. That's just like what we talked about earlier, lo que hablamos de antes. So, what would he have to divide 5 and 10 by to get to, well, 5 to get to 1 and 10 to get to 2? Very good. 5 is the correct answer. 5 dividido por 5 es 1. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So, based on what we learned on equivalent fractions, I would say that Jesse is correct. So, we were going to write, yes, Jesse is correct. Five tenths is equivalent. Two, one half. If you were able to get this done before me, good job. And if you didn't, please message me. I will be more than happy to help you. All right, now let's go on to number two. Vamos a número dos. Number two says subtract four tenths from nine tenths. What addition sentence can you use to check your answer? Así que tenemos que restar cuatro décimos y nueve décimos y después escribir qué problema de sumar podemos usar para revisar nuestro trabajo. Okay, please do not be fooled. Do not put not four tenths first. It is nine tenths first. So we're going to do nine tenths minus four tenths. And you should have gotten five tenths. Easy enough. But now, what is the addition problem that we can make from this? Because remember, subtraction is an inverse operation of addition. Recuerda que restando es un pro, um, operación inverso de restando. I'll give you a hint. All you're going to do now is do 4 tenths plus 5 tenths, which will give you, you guessed it. 9 tenths. Very good. And that's the answer for number 2. 
Now let's practice the rest of the problems. Let's see if you can finish before Ms. Sosa finishes. A ver si ustedes pueden acabar los el resto de la guía, práctica guiado antes que yo. So. And let me know if you do finish before me. On your mark, get set, go. All right, two thirds minus one third. Two minus one is one. I do not subtract the denominator, that's number three. Number four, three fourths minus two fourths. Okay, again, three minus two is one. Don't do anything with denominator, that's two. All right, five six and two six. Whoops, five minus two is three. Six minus six. Oh, I don't subtract six. What am I saying? Miss Sosa, wrong. Ahora vamos a hacer nueve tercer, terceras. Menos, ay, yo lo perdí. Tres. Oh, no, doce. Ah, you guys are going to beat me. You're faster than me. I know it. And that'll give me six twelfths. And now we do nine eighths minus three eighths, nueve octavo, minus tres octavos, seis octavos. Ooh, seven, diecisiete sobre, ooh, diez. Improper fraction, minus nine tenths. That gives me, I just want to make sure I was right, eight tenths running out of room on my little whiteboard. Four eighths, cuatro octavos, menos un octavo. That gives me three eighths. And the last one, oh really, one half minus one half. I know you guys beat me by now, but let's finish it off That's zero. Okay, that should be the guided practice and the rest is up to you. Now, before I let you guys go, let's look over some of these fractions and see if we can simplify a couple while we're waiting. Vamos a revisar las respuestas que tenemos, a verificar si tenemos algunas respuestas que sí podemos simplificar antes que vamos a seguir practicando. Un tercero, one third, both are prime, so no, this one is perfect. Este está perfecto. Un cuarto, mm -mm, eso, lo más básico que podemos hacerlos. Now, three six, tres sextos. Ellos sí tienen un factor en común. The factor they have in common is three. So let's divide the numerator and denominator by three. Vamos a dividir el tres con tres, que es uno, y seis con tres is dos. So now we get one half. Easy peasy, right? And I'm looking at six twelfths, and guess what? Same deal, right? So the factor they have in common would be, if you said six, you're right. Vamos a dividir con seis. Seis dividido por seis es uno. Doce dividido por seis es dos. Now, I know you know all even numbers can be divided by this number. Very good. Two. So let's divide the numerator and denominator by two. Six divided by two is three. Four, eight divided by two is Four. Now this is simplified. This is simplified. And eight tenths. You guessed it. Two again. Eight divided by two is four. Ten divided by two is five. Three and eight. Well, eight is prime, and I mean eight is not prime, but three is, and nothing times three makes eight. So this one. We're going to leave it alone. There's nothing more we can do. And of course, zero is zero. Well, I hope this instruction helps you with today's lesson. I look forward to getting your work from you guys. Keep practicing, and I will see you on the next video. Good luck, Room 219. Bye-bye.